I keep telling people, after every so-called terrorist attack, more and more legislation will be passed to take away our freedoms. And I keep telling people that the agenda of the elite, the people power behind the power, the Masonic power, the Bilderbergs, the Rothschilds, they want to socially engineer the world into a fascist state and they will do it generationally over a period of time because they know that's the only way they can do it. They know people will sleep and not realise it and one generation of one generation is born, they will set the powers and the rules that, that, that they live with and that's their plan. But people still don't want to seem to believe that our governments lie and they're all part of one grouping. Masonic Satanism. It is happening, people. Look up 9-11 Building 7. Look up, we need to talk about Sandy Hook. Look up that German reporter who was at Nice and the German attack. Look these up. There's more than enough evidence to, see, to show they are lying. And on the basis of these lies, these new rules get put, put in to take away our liberties. Now, controversial bulk spying powers used by the intelligence agencies play a crucial role in fighting terrorism. That's the finding of a major review of security legislation investigating whether there's a strong enough case for the tactics. Well, Sky's political correspondent, Robert Nisbet, is in Westminster now. Just explain for us, if you would, Robert, what these tactics exactly are. Well, this is all part of the Investigatory Powers Bill that has been passed by Commons but has now uh, been kicked up to the House of Lords and the peers are looking at it at the moment. But this really is a request from the spy agencies to say that we need better tools to do our jobs. And that involves delving into uh, digital communications that suspects uh, may be using either emails or text messages. Uh, but what is included in this bill are so-called bulk powers. Now, those bulk powers mean harvesting huge amounts of information, including uh, information of Internet use of people uh, like you and me, who are not potentially a terrorist threat to our country. Uh, but uh, the spy agencies uh, believe that they need to have the widest possible net in order to ensure that they evaluate risks effectively. Uh, and what this independent review by David Anderson QC has set out is that there is a proven operational case for three out of the four bulk uh, powers that were c contained within this bill uh, and uh, he has said therefore uh, there are circumstances under which they should be allowed. Now it should be said that this is really a stock take. This doesn't mean that now there is a green light for this. Uh, in effect Andy Burnham who is the Shadow Home Secretary has said that in order to carry uh, the British public along with these increased powers uh, they need uh, really to be consoled, to be uh, told that they are important that they are effective. And there was one example that uh, Mr. Anderson used. He said that uh, without bulk interception uh, in one kidnap case in Afghanistan, it was highly likely that one or more of the hostages would have been killed before a rescue could be attempted. Now, of course, when this investigatory power bill started, the Home Secretary was Theresa May, now the Prime Minister. She has welcomed this report. She said uh, that the investigatory powers bills and the bulk powers contained are of crucial importance to our security and intelligence and agencies. crucial importance uh, to the New World and Order. other human rights groups are not happy. Not happy at all. This is a statement that Liberty has released uh, within the last two hours. The review panel consisted of former agency staff effectively asked to mark their own homework and a reviewer who previously advocated in favour of these powers. There is no further information to justify the agency's vague and hypothetical claims. Instead, it invites the public to trust us. Post Chilcot, they say this won't wash. Hard evidence is required instead. Robin Isbitt in Westminster. Look up. Egyptian mythology and Egyptian mythology is connected to masonry. There's a terrorism, terrorism so-called terrorism organization called Isis. In the mythology, Isis gives birth to Horus. Horus is the all-seeing eye. These new, new rules and regulations are Horus being born, the all-seeing eye. Look it up for yourself, people. Step away from your soap operas and your football. Do a bit of research for the sake of your children. These people 
are liars. They're taking us to a world of hell if we don't let them and future generations will laugh at us for our stupidity and our apathy. Isis gives birth to Horus. Horus is on the dollar bill of the Orsian. It's the Orsian eye. It's on the dollar bill. Some say it's another name for Lucifer. And whether you believe that paradigm of Christianity and the devil or not, look this up. These people will not stop. They are like heroin addicts. They need more power. Isis is giving birth to Horus. You have to ask yourself the question as people. Do you want to be the midwives to this satanic fucking agenda? I'll just leave it at that. Thank you for watching.